Black Canary, we could use more women. Yeah, Supergirl, for that same reason, and it's nice to have a bit of family for Superman. Zatanna, because she could just come in and just make crazy stuff happen, yeah. Uh, it would be a little scary having that sword around, though. <laughs> yeah. No, Zatanna, the... the oh, the, sorry, the, I, the Zatanna, magic I, understand. I understand, I understand. I love Zatanna, yes, good call. The fishnets, right? And the, Is that what I mean? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey, I think it would just create, create a different dynamic, you know? When you, you following the news together. at all? <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, when each of these characters gets together, because we all have like one-on-one -on -one time within the movie, except for Henry, because he's dead. He has one-on-one -on -one time with himself. And uh, it's interesting just to see the different dynamics. It would just add a different flavor to the, to the soup we got. Justice League gumbo. Mm -hmm. <coughs> there could be a, someone in the Green Lantern Corps who could be a, a woman. Mm -hmm. true, true, true. There's no reason why a woman can't get the ring. We should fish have... a woman with a fish head. This is about to spark major controversy. Dun, dun, Watch dun. it happen. I hate to say this, but after all, yeah. Just between us. She's awesome. Mira? Yeah, yeah, she's dope. She's dope in this one. Yeah. Hey everybody, so you asked me to do a video for some of the extra characters for the Justice League universe. The stars are talking about Justice League 2, not Justice League 1. So no spoilers for Justice League, but when they were talking about Black Canary, talking about Supergirl, talking about more Mira, they're talking about the next Justice League movie. So if there were any doubts that they were planning on doing that, these are the actors talking about the characters that are in contention for that movie. Now, obviously, there's a lot of Justice League that got cut out. I will do deleted scenes videos like I just did for Thor Ragnarok after it comes out so people have a chance to see it first. But what's happening right now is they're deciding what that second Justice League movie is going to be and which characters they're going to introduce to it. Because you have the opportunity to bring in all these other people. So Supergirl, I know there's been a long-standing theory that she's been on Earth for a while, and there's sort of some tie-in comics for Batman v Superman and Man of Steel, as well as some stuff that appeared during the Man of Steel movie. But if you haven't seen it in a while, the idea is, is the Kryptonian scout ship that Superman finds has an open pod, and it's been there on Earth for a long, long time. So if there was a Supergirl, or she's been there and left a long time ago. So obviously the twist is, is that in most modern retellings of the Supergirl story, she comes to Earth after Superman has been Superman for a while. The expanded material, like the comics that were released around those movies, just told you a little bit more about that. Just gave you the idea the Kryptonians had visited Earth before Superman. So yes, there was a Supergirl. You can choose to believe that she's still alive in present day, but per the stars, they actually want to bring her into the second Justice League movie. If Supergirl is still somewhere near a yellow sun, she's effectively ageless. So they can bring on anybody that looks like whatever they want. They could do a really young version of the character. They could do a much more older, mature version of the character. But talking about Black Canary, obviously they have the Gotham City Sirens movie. So that just anybody that's fair game for the movies right now, like they have all the Harley Quinn stuff that's happening, you know, built around her, Poison Ivy, Catwoman, definitely guaranteed for that movie. But I think if they were going to include Black Canary as Black Canary during a Justice League movie, it'd be a relatively minor appearance. And because there's just so many things going on during Justice League, this first movie, I think they'll try to take the same approach with the other expanded canon characters in the second Justice League movie. So the most Black Canary we would see would be just like a brief scene of her using her power or one of the other characters bumps into someone and that someone just happens to be Dinah Lance inside an office somewhere. But talking about the Green Lanterns, I definitely think we're going to see Green Lantern during that second Justice League movie. When they're talking about female Green Lantern, though, that's probably Jessica Cruz. Because you could do one of the non-human Green Lanterns, and I, they will do that in the movies eventually. But because they've already teased the idea for that Green Lantern movie is going to be a lethal weapon with Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart, I think if we see Jessica Cruz pop up during the movie, it'll be a relatively minor appearance and she won't have the ring yet. Like she'll be a future Green Lantern because that's sort of the way it happened in the comics too. But you kind of get the idea. They're just teasing that there's going to be a lot more female big name characters coming. So obviously Gotham City Sirens is probably the first big film for that. The Harley Quinn movie. I know there's a lot of confusion with what's going on with that character because supposedly there's the Jared Leto version of the character that might come back during the Suicide Squad sequel. Then there's the rumor of the Leonardo DiCaprio spinoff movie. So who knows what's going to happen with that. But I think the only thing you can count on is that the actors that have appeared before will come back. And what will probably happen is, is they'll just shift the movies around a little bit. Like Suicide Squad 2 will eventually happen with a different director and a different creative team. They're definitely going to do more films centered around Harley Quinn. Gotham City Sirens is just the easiest way to do that. So between those, the main Justice League films, 
the other big Batman films, you just have a really big opportunity for these female characters to run around. So when they say Supergirl, Black Canary, Mira, they're just intending on using them more across the universe. But obviously Mira probably works best in concert with an Aquaman based storyline. So you'll see a whole bunch of her during the Aquaman movie. And without doing spoilers for her storyline during Justice League, I'm just expecting them to do a lot more with her when we get to the second Justice League movie. Because I think they spent a lot of this first movie figuring out how her powers work before they got to the Aquaman movie. They sort of refined that. So I totally trust James Wan. He probably found a really cool way to do Aqua Kinesis. And we'll just see a lot more of that when we get to the second Justice League movie. But they don't officially have a date for that yet. That could shift around a little bit. So we'll talk more about that after Justice League comes out and I can actually start talking about the spoiler extra characters that they included in the movie because there's a lot of stuff happening with Justice League but you can't really talk about it without getting into spoilers. So I'm allowed to post my review video Wednesday night so that's when that will post. That'll be non-spoilery. Then I'll start posting my Easter egg videos, post credits, all that kind of stuff starting Thursday night and Friday. But let me know in the comments which other female characters do you want to see them do in the big Justice League films. Forget about the expanded films, just Justice League. So what'll happen next is, is a new crossover teaser for the big four-way crossover just dropped, so I'll do a video for that. They also announced a Lord of the Rings TV series is actually going to happen now. They just confirmed that Amazon is going to do this insane high budget TV series. So I'll explain what's going on with that, the time period that it's set during, in the obvious comparison to Game of Thrones. Because anytime you're talking about doing a big high fantasy series, you can't avoid comparing it to what Game of Thrones has done. So that'll probably post early Tuesday morning. But there's a new round of that Justice League ticket giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber, leave a comment on this video. Congratulations to the winner from the last video, The Wabbit Season. Please private message me so I can get your contact details. You can click here for my non-spoilery Justice League reaction video. And you can click here to learn about all the Thor Ragnarok alternate post credit scenes and deleted scenes. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.